Our journey to Peter Aremu Street, Abaronje, Ikotum, is to ascertain a claim to power generation from potato by this young Nigerian. I'm coming. 33-year-old Olushola sets a table just by the corner of this apartment for a little demonstration of a six-year research work. All things being equal, these six potato tubers should be able to power these little bulbs. It first takes us through the process of preparing the potato for the experiment. Because it's in serious connection, you see there's a connection here, uh -huh. this wire. So you see the same wire pass to this place. This is negative. Uh -huh. So to the negative here, uh -huh. you see here. Yeah? From, and then to this negative. And, and to this negative. So you connect the whole together. Okay. He then tries it out and the light comes on. The secondary school certificate holder speaks on his motivation for this venture, which according to him did not come easy. Because I believe that there is no problem in this world that don't have a solution, except you have not discovered the solution. So I keep on every day, day and night, try all the means. How can we truly generate electricity from nature? Apart from the one everybody used to hydroelectric. So that's where I started my research day and night. So Olushola says he no longer pays electricity bill at home. Um, actually, I'm using it in my room. So that's why I said it can power for 40 days. So after the 40 days, it will spoil. His work might still need some refinement. With the much needed support, he can achieve his goal. I want two things to happen in the future. One is to be able to get ele cheap electricity. That is one. The other is to help a lot of youth. So I think if I can come out with something good, I can train a lot of youth so they can do it. So I believe if we have uh, millions of youth that can build electricity themselves, that will also reduce the unemployment. So that's currently what I'm working on and very soon. At a time as this, when power supply in the country has become the exclusive preserver for few, it would not be a bad idea for government and corporate organizations to look the way of alternative sources of energy. And encouraging young Nigerians like Ulushola may just be a good way to start. Chris Ellens, Channels Television News.